Hey everybody, it's Mr. Marshall at Stony Lane. Are you working really hard on learning your facts? Are you working really hard on learning your addition facts and your subtraction facts? Well, I have a tool that you can use, okay? And it's a tool that you can make for yourself, okay? Um, what you have to do is take some cards, and maybe a grown-up can help you to do this, and cut them out like this into triangles. You see that? It's shaped just like a triangle. And what you can do is you can think of two numbers that add up, okay, like a fact that you're trying to work on. So in one corner, let's say I'm trying to work on the fact three plus two, okay? And I'm gonna take my um, flashcard and I'm gonna put a three in one corner and I'm gonna take a different color, right? Just a different color, whatever. And I'm gonna put a two in the other corner. So I have a three in one corner and a two in another corner. So three and two, how much is three plus two? Three plus two is, right, it's five. So I'm gonna put a five in the last corner. So I have a three and a two and a five, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I always use black for this part. I'm gonna take a black marker and I'm gonna put a plus sign between the two smallest numbers. So for me, that's three and two. Okay, three and two are gonna have a plus sign in between. And then I'm gonna put a minus sign on the other two sides of my triangle. See that? So I've made my triangle flashcard. Now here's how this works. I wanna study this because you know the three and the two and the five, they're part of what's called a fact family. Those are numbers that always always go together for addition and subtraction, okay? So let me show you how to use this. So if I wanna practice, I can put my finger over the biggest number and read the rest of the card, three plus two, and then try to remember what's over there. That's right, five, okay? And then I can take a look and see if I got the answer right. I can check it. Okay, so um, I can also do this with subtraction. I can put my finger on one of the small numbers this. And I can read, I have to start with the bigger number. So I have a three and a five, so I'm going to start with the five. Where's the five? Here it is. Five minus three is two. There I go. I can do the other one too. Where's the bigger number? Five minus two is three. Okay. Um, here's another one. Try another one. Here we go. Two plus six equals, do you know? Eight. Okay, so let's try um, another one. Here we go. Two plus four. That's right, it's six. Okay, let's try another one. I'm gonna not put on the biggest number now. I'm gonna do a subtraction one. So here, I have a seven and a four. So I have seven, it's hard to do on the camera. Seven minus four is, that's right, it's three. Okay. And if I learn these facts together, if I have the seven and seven minus four, and then I do seven minus three, and then I do three plus four. If I learn those together, those are a fact family. And I know that the three and the four and the seven always go together, okay? That's something that these triangle flashcards can help you to do. You can play other games with these triangle flashcards. Like you can play like a domino game. Like I can put this down on the table and line, like here's a three and here's a three and put it there. And then see if I can find another three that can go like here, okay? make all sorts of designs, all the ways the three is used, okay? There's lots of stuff you can do with this. Um, and if you have an older brother or sister who's learning multiplication or division, um, they can do the very same thing for that, okay? So that's triangle flashcards. Try that out. Maybe it'll help you learn your fact families, and I'll see you next time.